morning and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times.
friend or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team, immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruiting team. The Black Mesa facility is an equal opportunity employer. Regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. Put some pep in that step, Freeman. You're late enough as it is. Oh, sorry, Doc. I have to stay at my post. Don't you have some buttons to push or something? Not now. I'll, I'll stop by when I'm doing my rounds. Has anybody ever told you you're a cunning linguist? There are a lot of suits walking around today. Try to look busy. Uh, can we do this later? I can't, but maybe later. Uh, can we do this later? Sorry, Mr. Freeman, I'm on duty right now. Uh, can we do this later? Not now. I'll, I'll stop by when I'm doing my rounds. Hey, catch me later. You, me, and Calhoun will go out and get that beer he owes you. We can talk on my lunch break. Don't you have some buttons to push or something? Aw, oh, man, you cut the ponytail. Sell out. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Gordon, I'm in the middle of something here. Just a minute, Gordon. There was someone downstairs asking about you. Or was it upstairs? Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? You'll just have to wait until after the test. This is going to have to wait, Gordon. 
If this is anything less than a full-scale Code Red Calamity, I'm not interested. What are you doing still running around up here? Gordo, you're on Sundial and we need you on stopwatch. Hop to it. Hello, Dr. Freeman. I can't be bothered right now. Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. I'm rather busy now. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Good morning, Dr. Freeman. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Hard to find good help these days. Yes, about that. We're going to need you to come in this weekend. What? I've already made plans! Oh, don't worry. You can always attend the next convention. Drat. Just a minute, Gordon. Give me some space, Freeman. You're living in the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than a replication, I assure you. For one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study was published, and to say nothing of the modern perspective necessary to monitor its influence. I mean, combined with today's technology, I've recreated- ah, I can't stand to hear another word of this malarkey. Don't mind him, but here's something to think about for the next time. You and your sugar-coated airsots are absolutely full of it. Creativity is the art of hiding your influence. Now let's get back to work. We should at least try to look busy. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? Give me some space, Freeman. Control yourself, Gordon. Keep your busy little hands to yourself, Freeman. Maxwell's demon. It's cold in here. You'll just have to wait until after the test. You'll just have to wait until after the test. For Pete's sake! You'll just have to wait until after the test. Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? We can talk at lunch, Gordon. Uh, hold, just hold on for one moment. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? Morning, champ. Hello. What the hell? <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you best make like an atom split. You better make like a prom dress and take off.
This does not bode well for the rest of us. You better make like traffic and jam. You better make like a nut and bolt. You better make like a missile and cruise. You better make like diarrhea and run. You better make like a baby and head out. You better make like a busboy and get the fork out of here. You better make like a bread truck and haul buns. You better make like a bread truck and haul buns. You better make like traffic and jam. You better make like a busboy and get the fork out of here. You better make like a prom dress and take off. You better make like a missile and cruise. They've been paging you all morning, Dr. Freeman. Best get downstairs before you cause any more disasters. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Triple pleated khakis. Preposterous. And these ludicrous penny loafers. Nobody here has an eye for fashion. Does this lab coat make me look fat? You'll just have to wait until after the test. Rat. No toilet paper. Be a dear and fetch me a roll of toilet paper. Uh, hello? Hello? Could somebody get me some toilet paper? Excuse me, minor emergency. Oh, thank heavens. I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. Just a minute. Right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Lieutenant Montero, two, sub-level, three. Hello, old chum. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? Did you catch that last fluctuation? It's nothing to worry about.
Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. Now, where did I leave that shutdown procedure chart? I'm sure it'll show up sooner or later. energy to ensure resonance control. Double check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure the superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. How curious. The acousto-optic modulators are on the fritz again. Pfft. I assure you, we've compensated for any contingency. What's up, Doc? Should it's been a mess down here this morning. Have fun. Whew, I'm bushed. Standing around can take a lot out of you. Think we could all use a little R&R, &R, know what I mean? Days like this make me glad all I have to do is just stand around and look pretty. Look at all these white coats running around like chickens with their heads cut off. Not for me, no sir. I was never cut out for the scientific techno babble. Sure as hell don't know how a quark works, but... The quarks do, and that's the important thing. Has anybody ever told you you're a cunning linguist? If this is anything less than a full-scale code red calamity, I'm not interested. You'll just have to wait until after the test. We can talk at lunch, Gordon. Please, leave me alone until after the experiment. Ah, Gordon. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Ah, Gordon. There you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The Administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Gordon, it's high time to start the experiment. Get to the test chamber at once. We've already had to cover for your tardiness. Don't waste any more of our time, Dr. Freeman. You don't want to be responsible for holding up the entire lab, do you? Everyone upstairs is waiting for the experiment's results. Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last minute changes, they're a bit strange to just... Oh, it's about to go critical. What in the blazes is going on oh. with our equipment? Oh. It was never meant to do this in the first place. <sighs> it's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. Go on, Gordon. We'll take it from here. take a bit longer than I anticipated. Mm. 
by Beckrell's ghost. The radiation level is off the charts. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, yet I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. Come now, you're overreacting. <sighs> I don't know how much longer I can abide these perfunctory tasks. I need more time for myself. Ha! Huh. Don't kid yourself. You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had any. That tears it. I'm going to check with the office upstairs and see how many vacation days I've accrued over the past 25 years. It's high time I took a break from all this. Certainly. But before you do, activate the electron multiplier and report the reading from the micro-channel plates. Gordon, I'm in the middle of something here. You'll just have to wait until after the test. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Make haste, man. They're waiting for you down in the test chamber. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Oh, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't Gordon feel doesn't need to hear all of this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. The higher-ups will have our heads if we delay this experiment any longer. Once this is over, you can slip out of that HEV and get back to the real work. Paperwork. Lots and lots of paperwork. You're just postponing the inevitable. Just go on and get it over with. Catching the opening night jitters, Gordon? Can't say I blame you. Don't worry, Dr. Freeman. You'll do just fine. Are you waiting for something, Gordon? He's just savoring the moment. One day he'll look back to this as the beginning of his illustrious career. There's no need for performance anxiety, Dr. Freeman. Of course not. You're a seasoned pro by now. Testing. Testing. <clears throat> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Very good. We'll take it from here. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. I'm seeing predictable phase arrays. Stage two emitters 
activating now. Uh, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long it can take, but please work as quickly as you can. Overhead to passengers, 1050. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no. It's well within acceptable bounds. Sustaining sequence. We've just been informed that the sample is ready. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Standard insertion for non-standard specimen. Get away from the radio! Oh, stop. Shut it down. Shut it down. Someone get him out of there and shut it down. It's not... It's not shutting down! Oh, no!